okay so let's see the solution so basically the solution is uh, if we go to payment let's go to payment we see here where customer ID is 341 because that was Peter we need to find out the average now this will be uh, average amount now this will be the answer but let's try to think or let's try to assume that we don't know the ID of the customer we just know the name so we need to query and to do a join so to do a join we will do something like this select from payment join customer on payment customer id is equal with customer dot probably customer id where let's say customer dot name is equal with peter i don't know if it's name okay first name so we have run this query and we get the same answer because we have used joins and we join the first table and the second table and we specify the condition and we specify the the condition on which we fire our query so if you if you did this good job if not this is how you use join we use join from the other lectures and also a utility function